Hey, what's up, everybody? Cloud9 Man here, coming to you from the man cave with a good cup of coffee. That's right. I just wanted to remind you guys that this is going to be different from just posting the whole game. I'm going to do a highlight reel of the scores, and you guys let me know if you like that better or if you would rather watch the whole game. So let me know in the comments. I'm the Cloud9 Man. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Hit the old like button and help me out. I appreciate it. And thank you guys. Tonight, from TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida, it's time for Monday Night Football. by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. I love just about everything about him. Delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them. In position to get things started. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. And it'll be interesting to see pretty early. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Right back to Tolbert. Touchdown! Jalen Tolbert, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take it. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to end up. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trip. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you... you believe they buzz down they're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone and not just the feet how about the hands how's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds that's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. This is going to be third and 13. Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, okay, take your best shot. And that time, seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will get...
Certainly not the highest of scoring games, Charles. Their offense yeah, did some okay things. Not a lot of points on the board, but enough for the win with how their defense was playing in this one. Yeah, they certainly brought their A game, didn't they? They weren't fooled by anything that was presented to them from start to finish. That defense, they might as well have told their offense, guys, just kick a field goal. We've got it today. So for the Cowboys, today, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, it's week seven of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New Orleans Saints. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a matchup here in pivotal week seven between the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come for the first time. And leading them out is their fifth-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there. And this one from 48 yards away. Garibay's kick is good, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Throwing, Winston, looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. It's in the loss last week, and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week. First down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. this has the carry it does not it's no good and that will keep this a three-point game from the 26 they'll line up on second and four he's got a man complete past the 20 touchdown cowboys cd lamb his fifth touchdown now on the year and they're able to add on to their advantage well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took... This is a big pressure spot. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Garibay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Short field payoff. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Disastrous outcome there on third and goal. They lose nine yards of the sack. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Jonathan Off of the field goal try, Jonathan Garibay. This one from 35 yards away. Garibay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, whatever was said in the locker room, and it's incomplete. 
So now only seven seconds remain. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if they're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. So this likely just to get the final score a bit closer given the time remaining, but they'll have a go for two here. One last shot now for Winston. And that one falls incomplete. So that last kickoff, just a mere formality, obviously, Charles, wrapping up a game that they should be very happy about in which they got the win. Yeah, I thought they were clearly the better team by the end, and they earned this one with a terrific game plan and consistent effort throughout. Only fitting that they had the ball when the clock hit zero. So for Dallas, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, it's yet another loss as they...